Hello and welcome, my name's C-Rex and on today's video I'm just going to be showing you how to export Spore creations to uh, 3D modelling software such as Maya or 3ds Max. Um, I did do a similar video to this about four years ago but I thought I might as well revisit because my uh, microphone on that video is a bit, is a bit poor and uh, obviously the one I've got now is a lot better so I figured it might be a good idea. Um, so yeah, first thing you've got to do is um, just load up Spore, go to create, oh actually no, well you could do that but <clears throat> this way is a lot more straightforward. You need to find uh, a creature, um, as you can see I've got a lot of creations on here, um, but we're going to go with this guy because I quite like him. <clears throat> so yeah, we've um, got our creature loaded up. Um, I believe this can also be done for vehicles and buildings as well, but for this video we're going to be using a creature. So we've got him loaded up. Uh, going to paint mode. This is important that you've got to go into paint mode before you can do any of this. Uh, wait for the paint to be applied. Then press Control, Shift and C and it'll bring up the c command console. Now what you want to type in here is Collada Export. Now you'll get this little window here with a Eula on it. Um, you can read it if you want. I never really read these things. Um, so just accept it. It's pretty, pretty much just to ensure you don't use the creations you export for your own financial gain really. Gain really, sorry. But yeah, that should have exported now. Um, yeah, the reason you need to have it in paint mode is because it also exports the textures as well. Um, which you can later apply within the 3D modeling software of your choice. Uh, so we're going to quit Spore now. I mean, I could minimise it, but it has this nasty um, bug where if you alt-tab out of the program and launch it again, the buttons don't work properly in the game. But anyway, yeah, we're back on the desktop now. Uh, we're going to load up Maya. I've currently got Maya LT 2018. Um, it should work with pretty much all versions of Maya, really. And it also works with 3ds Max, which I used for my other demonstration, but I don't really use that software. Um, that much these days. I mostly use Maya. So yeah, we want to import him. I believe we can just drag and drop really. We should be able to do that. So you might get a few errors when you're importing him. Um, <clears throat> um, it's not really that interest. It, sorry, not really that important to be honest. It's mostly to do with animating. Um, we're not going to be animating our creature, obviously. Um, I'm just going to be demonstrating this. But if you are an animator, I don't think it should have much of an impact. But yeah, we've got our creature now. Um, he's fully textured. Um, sometimes it might not be imported with the textures, and so you'll have to apply them yourself through whatever um, means you use in your particular 3D software program. I know that Maya uses the... Hi... Um, sorry. The... I think I, I can't remember its name. Hypershade. I think it's called. Yeah, that's what you're using, Maya. Um, yeah, if you want to animate um, your creature, it, it's fully rigged. Um, as you can see, the joints here are absolutely massive, so I might want to make those a bit smaller. Of, of course, this isn't necessary, it's just something I want to do. So they're still a bit too big. Um, 0 0.10 might be better. A bit smaller than that, maybe. There we go. Yeah, they're all fully rigged, so if you want to animate your creatures, then you can do. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, they're a bit funny sometimes, the uh, joints. Yeah, so you can move bits about like that. Um, so yeah, that's about it, really. Um, it's really simple. Um, one thing I have noticed, though, is certain creatures, when you import them into the free... When you export them, sorry is that some of the deformations on the body on certain parts such as the for example maybe the mouth or detailed parts like this sometimes they might not retain their uh, deformations and they'll just come into the editor um, the way they came out of the creature edit create sorry creature creator before you um, changed it changed them but apart from that it's like I said it's very simple um, and that's about it really 
Um, yeah. So yeah, I hope everyone's found this video useful, and if you've got any questions or if you're stuck or anything, just leave it in the comment section and I'll have a look at them and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have some uh, more gaming videos up later this week. So yeah, see ya.